In today's video, we're going to try something very interesting. We all know you cannot drill into tempered glass, but I'm going to attempt to make a hole in the center of this tempered glass panel, which is 3 16 of an inch thick, using a dental high-speed handpiece with a round standard diamond burr. I'm going to use light to moderate pressure, and hopefully I can get all the way through the panel. Let's give it a try. Let me show you the system that I designed a while back. I wanted a supply of air that would last me a very long time, and being a scuba diver, I thought of using a tank, which is perfect. This is a first stage regulator. This takes the 3,500 PSI that's inside the scuba tank and reduces it down to around 140 PSI at this point right here. This gauge right here shows you the pressure of that output, which usually ranges between 125 and 140. The next regulator you see here is used to adjust the airflow to the high speed handpiece down here, or low speed, as well as the air syringe back here. Usually I use around 30 PSI. Now a lot of these fittings I made, like you see right here, I drilled a hole into that cap to put this little brass barb connector. I drilled another hole in this fitting here to come off the side of that before the solenoid. And I made all these fittings here and this little valve right there I made. I drilled a hole in the bottom and I soldered in a fitting that I needed with a T. On the other side of the unit here, this little box is the control box. There's an LED power indicator. There's a relay, and it's connected to a foot pedal that you see at the bottom. When you press down on the switch, all right, you heard the drill come on. That turns on this solenoid right here, which allows water to flow out the head of the drill. This fitting right here before the solenoid for the water, that goes to the air syringe and water syringe. This is always on, regardless if the pedal's pushed or not. This right here is a regulator for the water pressure. This is the city water coming in. And then I have the regulated water pressure going out. Right behind this is another white little box. That's a solenoid which turns the airflow on and off to the handpiece. This is the airflow going out to the handpiece. And if I wanted to have air coming out of the nozzle as well to clear away any chips. This little valve can be opened to let just the right amount of air out at the same time while the drill is running to clear away any chips. The dentist could easily use this unit as a portable unit if they had to. Over here I designed this little connector. This goes on to a faucet. I made it to fit my faucet as well as a few other different types. There's a brass plate I drilled a hole in that plate, brazed in a hose bar. The water is then supplied from here all the way in to the regulator for the water. All right, let's give it a shot drilling that piece of tempered glass. Okay, I'm going to drill the hole right in the center of the glass using a standard diamond burr. This is a round burr. There's going to be water supplied while I'm drilling through the tempered glass. Take a look. There's a nice hole starting there. Let's go back into the same hole right there. Wipe it away, take a look. Let's carry on. Let's see how deep it is first. You can see them way down in there. Here we go. Let's get some water on there first. All right. Oh, that 
that was not good. The good thing about this demonstration was I was able to drill as far as I was able to drill because normally you cannot drill even a sixteenth of an inch into tempered glass before it shatters. It makes me wonder if I used lighter pressure on the drill, I may have been able to go all the way through the panel. I know cooling was certainly not an issue here. There was a sufficient amount of water while I was drilling, which leads me to believe I was just using too much pressure since I was able to get almost halfway through the panel before it shattered. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.